Hi there. My name is Julie and I am a small business owner who uses Facebook sometimes to advertise for my business. Some recent changes have occurred and my strategist, who also happens to be my sister, is telling me that I need to make some changes um, within my Facebook business manager and maybe on my website. I'm not really sure. This is not my area of expertise. So my sister, Leslie, who is also a digital media strategist and an expert on these sorts of things, is going to walk me through doing what I need to do as the business owner because of these changes. So I'm going to hand it over to Leslie. Great. Thank you, Julie. So yes, as Julie mentioned, there are some changes in the industry occurring now. Um, Apple is releasing their newest iOS update in a few months. Um, they have not released the official date. Um, in preparation for this update, which will have impacts on consumer privacy, a good thing, um, Facebook has had to make changes to their platform to keep advertisers able to, to do what they need to do with the data that they can collect in a safe way in accordance with iOS, the newest iOS. So one of the steps that business owners will need to make is verifying their domain, which is just a way to tell Facebook, hey, we're a legit business. This is our website. It's a good website and we are following all the rules on this website. So to do so, um, I will walk Julie through this process um, and I think she's going to share her screen for us. Yes, I will do that. Share screen. Can you see my screen? I can. Okay, wonderful. Great. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is um, make sure we have our Facebook login handy mm -hmm. and our domain name provider login, that's GoDaddy or whoever else you use, or access to edit the backend code of your website. Um, so there's, there's two options to verify. Um, okay. So I have my Facebook login and I have my login um, for my domain which is through GoDaddy. through GoDaddy. Great. So open up a web browser, please. Okay. I've already got it conveniently open to GoDaddy. There you go. Um, and then you're going to go to business.facebook.com. So I just go to Facebook? Uh, business.facebook.com. Oh, it's not my same as my regular Facebook? No, so this is going to be your business manager. Okay. Business.facebook.com. Okay. Don't know what this is. <laughs> so this is where all of all of your, your assets, your Facebook and Instagram assets live, including your ad accounts, your pixels, and your pages. So now we're going to go to all the way over to the left, you'll see more tools. More tools. Okay, got it. More mm -hmm. tools. And then you're going to click on business settings. Business settings. Mm -hmm. More tools, business settings. Got it. Yes. And then about three quarters of the way down the screen on the left side, you're going to see brand safety. Brand safety. Okay. Mm -hmm and click on domains. Domains. Okay. So as you see there, it knows, it sees that your website is, is jgriffinphotography.com and it's saying it is not yet verified. Okay. So um, it's the, there's gonna be three options just, and I'll walk through those real quick before we start. One is going to be again, to log into your domain name provider such as GoDaddy and add a text txt record to um, to it. This is going to be the easiest way if you have um, one of these more common um, domain name providers. And the this, other option, this first that, step, the domain verification. This is something that I have to do by <clears> myself, right? 
That's correct. Yes, uh, your strategist or you know advertising agency cannot do this for you. You must be the owner of the business. Okay. Um, so, so the first option again is to insert a text record. The second option will be to upload an HTML verification file to your website, which requires access to your website's root folder. Mm -hmm. We are not going to demonstrate that today. Okay. The third option would be to insert uh, the met meta tag with the verification code into the header of your website's homepage. So this um, would probably be fairly easy if you use a platform like Squarespace, because they have, you know, you can go to adv advanced settings, get into the head and insert the code. Mm -hmm. um, but as I mentioned, we're going to do option one. Mm -hmm. So to get started, um, Julie, I'm going to have you copy the bolded text in step two to your clipboard. Add this TXT record to your DNS configuration. Okay, so yes. I'm gonna copy. Yeah. Copy to clipboard. Got it. Okay. And then now let's, um, let's click verify. Oh wait, no, so first we need to go. Excuse me, first we do need to go to GoDaddy. GoDaddy, because that's my hosting. Correct, yep. Okay. I have not logged into GoDaddy in a very long time. Oh, goodness. Oh, my goodness. Hold on. I'm going to send me a code to make sure that it's me. Okay. Great. We're in. And then go up to DNS. I should left. mention, Leslie, I should mention that I have two URLs. Does that matter? I have juliegriffinphotography.com through GoDaddy and I have jgriffinphotography.com through Squarespace because I already owned this one when I made my Squarespace site and Squarespace, you get a free one. Okay. Sorry, sorry to mix things up. So that shouldn't be a problem. I think that we will be able to add two domains to your business manager. Okay, so we're gonna <clears> add <throat> two domains, okay. So the only thing is that right now, the code that we've copied, it looked like it was for J Griffin. Okay, so that's actually gonna be through Squarespace. Okay. Let me go to So. Domains. So this is within Squarespace, which also manages one of my domains. Got it. They are also a domain name provider. Mm -hmm. Can you all right. see this? Yes. Okay. So J Griffin Photography. Yep. Okay. So, okay. So yeah, let's let's click in there. Okay. Advanced DNS settings. I'm guessing. Probably yes. Okay. Yes, great. So we are going to, if you see um, under all the way at the bottom to the left or the right, sorry, it'll say add. Mm -hmm. Text. Yeah, yes, there we go. Great. Okay. Yeah, so this is a text TX. Custom text record, DNS yes. text record. Okay. Mm -hmm. so this is where you're going to paste. Great. Did it. And that should do it. Okay. Yeah. So that did it hopefully for jgriffinphotography.com. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. So is, is everything saved in, in Squarespace? I think you need to click save up in yep. the left. Oh yeah, save. Yep. Okay. Great. So it, it might take up to 72 hours. Okay. Under successful. Okay. So uh, let's go ahead and, and verify juliegriffinphotography.com. I'm back at business.facebook.com into uh, brand safety domains. Yeah. So let's make sure, actually, let's click verify since we did. Okay. Okay. Oh, we did it. We Great. did it. We did it. Okay. How do you know that we did it? It popped up. I think you looked away for a second, but it said, congratulations. Big. Very exciting. So we're going to go. Why don't we let's see what happens when we refresh? Okay. How do I do that? 
Um, refresh your page just up by your. This little guy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm curious to see if the J. Griffin photography turns up with the blue or green. Yay, look at that. It's a green dot next to jgriffinphotography.com. So this little green dot means that we completed step one for this domain name. That's correct. Yes. Yay. Okay. That's great. So yeah. now let's do Julie Griffin photography. How do I add? Here? So quick, yep, add. Mm -hmm. Okay, not everyone's gonna have to do this because everyone probably just has one. That's just not like me. Okay. Yep. Same thing, copy this. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> copy to clipboard. I wonder if I could do this within Squarespace or um, GoDaddy. Oh yeah. Mm. I bet it's here in DNS. Yeah. Uh, probably. Well, we try. Oh, settings. Settings. Mm -hmm. uh, advanced. Oh, that's not a thing. Not a thing. Huh, the nice thing about us doing this together and sharing this with other small business owners is that um, maybe they won't feel um, like they're alone if they're running yeah. into bumps. <laughs> yes, it's it's. I will tell you, even my Facebook rep has conflicting information for me every day. <laughs> so okay. this, this iOS update has thrown everyone in the digital advertising and just business world, thrown them for a loop. So this is not, you know, this is just kind of how it goes. Yeah. So we lost your screen. Did yeah, you I just wanted to show our faces for a second. Oh, God. <laughs> Okay, as you were as you were riffing about the industry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're here in GoDaddy for my domain to do the DNS text. Okay, so we're here in GoDaddy for my domain to do the DNS text record, and we're trying to figure out where we do that within GoDaddy. Right. Which okay, so sorry, go again. What if I go here? Click on this. Add website, add email, list for sale. No. Privacy settings. No. Additional settings. Manage no. DNS. Okay, yeah, there it is. Yay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Additional settings. Oh, Manage. Right. Manage DNS. There it is. Yeah. All right. So to recap, since we looked for a little while, we are in domains, clicked on it, and we scrolled all the way down to additional settings. And we're going to click on manage DNS. Right? Yes. Great. Okay. okay. Scroll down, please. Now we're going to click add right there. Oops. Oh, right here with all this list of all these things. So those are other text records. Okay. Um, cool. So type, you're going to include, choose TXT. TXT. Post, uh, just do at. Like that? Just like that. Okay. And TXT value paste? Paste. Paste. Save? Save. Okay. Okay. Go back. And then, do you need to save anything else in there, or did that, you know, oh. did that kind of uh, probably good, right? Yeah, so, it looks like it's good. Okay. Yes. So let's go back to Facebook. Okay. Back to my business settings where we did it, and I'm going to click verify. Yes, ma'am. And refresh. Right. Not without some some roadblocks, but I think we we did it. We did it. It's green. It's green. You've got two verified domains under your. Ooh. Okay, so it turns green, and that means that my domain verification okay. step is done. That's right. Yes, okay. and there are some some other steps. Um, as long as your digital strategist or you know whoever is is managing your Facebook ads is an admin of your business account. Okay. 
they can do the follow the next steps for you. So it's really the domain name verification that business owners need to worry about doing themselves. Do you want to talk us through the conversion event prioritization or are we assuming that um, most people will have another admin take care of this for them? Most people, if unless they're running the Facebook ads that they have running themselves, mm -hmm. their point person for that will handle the conversion event optimization. Is that something you could walk me through just for the sake of any small business owner who's watching this who doesn't have an awesome yeah. strategist working for them? Yes, <laughs> it? I, I'm happy to. I will say that you don't need to do it. So you, for example, Julie, I don't know that you have custom events set up on your Okay. okay. So what I'll just walk through real quickly what conversion event optimization is. Um, it's basically Facebook saying, you are only allowed to track eight things that happen on your website because some big businesses track every little thing you do on their site. They know when you click to view a product, they know when you click to add it to your cart, they know when you click to add in your payment info, they know when you click to search on a website. And there's so many things that they're tracking and Facebook is, um, Facebook is honing that in. So now you're only allowed eight. So what conversion event optimization or prioritization is, is the process through which advertisers will have to narrow it down if they have 10, you know, eight or more events. So it, it likely will not be a huge issue for most small businesses. Okay. So this last step of the conversion event prioritization is only for businesses who have a lot of conversion events being currently tracked by Facebook business manager? Yes, you got it. Okay. Okay. So maybe we just skip it. I think that we can. And if somebody who watches this video has a question on how to do it, they are happy or they're free to reach out to me, um, Leslie Cole Digital at gmail.com. Okay. <laughs> um, or, you know, screen. reach out to you if they know you. <laughs> you yeah. If you know me, you can reach out to me and I can't help you, but I can put you in touch with my sister. <laughs> and she is this address right here? Yes. Okay, but for the most part, anyone who has more than eight events being tracked, they're probably using an agency and their agency will take care of this step for them. Yes, that's a pretty fair assumption, right? Okay, great. Thank you so much for your help today. I hope this Thank is helpful you. to anyone who watches it. Me too. Okay, goodbye.